Hello and welcome to my week 13. So I am 13 weeks and one day as of filming. I'm actually going to put this up probably a day early because we're moving on Saturday. Um, so by Friday I will be, where are we now? We're Wednesday. Um, so I will be uh, 13 weeks and 3 days. So it is confirmed that I am 13 weeks. Um, unless we've just got a small baby, which is probably quite likely, because I'm not exactly massive, so, um, it could be. Um, I'm, yeah, so we had the scan, and as you may see on the scan photo, it does say 16 weeks in one day. Um, that is actually referring to my last cycle, rather than how far along we actually are. Um, because I'm every six weeks, rather than every four, so we think now that we've had our 13 week scan... It was definitely a six week cycle, so um, kind of back to normal for me. Um, yeah, so I'm 13 weeks, yay! Um, this week has been okay. So most of the days I have been fine, like absolutely fine. Um, I've only had two days where I've been sick. However, uh, Monday was an absolute nightmare. So I woke up and I think probably why I overheated at night as I was really really thirsty when I woke up and I just downed a pint and that's probably the worst thing you can do um in the morning for morning sickness um I had to basically ring the midwife and her advice was take sips of water and just eat dry biscuits when you're hungry so I was sick four times um I think I have never been sick that much um with my pregnancy or ever to be fair um so I was really concerned that obviously I didn't want the baby or myself to get dehydrated and obviously um if I wasn't getting any food obviously that would have an effect so I was a bit concerned which is why I rang the midwife um it faded about 11 o'clock so from about six o'clock to 10 o'clock I was sick four times, which was horrible. I just felt awful the whole day. Um, I was able to drink in the end, um, uh, just taking small sips. It was just the horrible feeling of, am I going to be sick now? Um, so, yeah, that wasn't really fun, but um, maybe that's, you know, first trimester out with a bang. Um, so, yeah, I think being in my third... Uh, so, technically, I'm now developing in the 14th week because um, I've completed 13 weeks. I am now in the second trimester, yay! So I'm hoping it was just a big bang to finish the first trimester off. I have felt okay both uh, today and yesterday, which is good because obviously the scan was yesterday, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, and yeah, so that was really, really good. Um, yeah, I think probably more or less it's just scan really. So I had the scan yesterday, which is really lovely. The best thing, I thought it was going to be, oh, we'll be able to hear the heartbeat. Because last time we saw the heartbeat, and last time our baby was like this big, so it's really, really tiny. You can see like in comparison to my nose and whatever, or my face. Um, and it was just so tiny. So all we could see was just a heartbeat flutter last time. Um, so I just thought, oh, it'll be kind of similar. Um... But we'll be able to hear it. So yes, we did hear it, but that wasn't the best thing. So our baby um, is, I think, about this big, which is really tiny still. So in comparison to my face, you know, there's my cheek. Um, so yeah, it's just, it was so, so tiny. Um, I am very broody about my own child, which is kind of good. <laughs> um, you just thought, you know, um, that's a good sign. So yeah, it was just, I was... Um, yeah, I'll explain it from the beginning, I think, because that's there is a little bit more to the story. So, um, we went to the hospital. Um, it we I won't say which one, but um, we um basically went and yeah, we I didn't know really what to expect to be honest, because obviously this is the kind of main one of the main scans. Most people only have two, whereas I'm actually going to have one a month. Um, again, I'll come back to that. Um, so, yeah, we went into the thingy, um, it was a bit difficult to find, um, and one of the things we actually noticed, so the hospital was non-smoking, but the amount of people smoking outside was crazy, and I'm like, really? Um, so it was a bit kind of, it was a bit annoying, because basically, obviously being pregnant, I, obviously my smell's gonna be higher, but obviously it was a bit frustrating, this piece of hair was really annoying me, so excuse me if I start playing with it. 
I'm just gonna do that because that hides it more. Um, so um, yeah, it was just like um, so. I've been holding my breath when um, I've been walking past them, but obviously it's like I don't want to be holding my breath because obviously that's not great. Um, so yeah, it was a bit kind of meh, but that was just my opinion. So yeah, um, yeah. So we went into the hospital. It looked really really fancy. Like it was like. Steve was like, is this private? Um, and I was like, no, it's got, you know, our letter says NHS at the top. Um, but it's basically because we went to this specific site. Um, uh, and when we go for our 20 week scan, it will be an enhanced scan. So obviously we've got technology there, etc. Um, so we weren't waiting for long. It was about, we arrived about five minutes early just because um, we couldn't find the place and we'd actually arrived 25 minutes early. So it was a really good job we had. Um, so yeah, we went um, and waited and then we got called through and they were like, yeah, we're going to test your blood pressure. It was fine. And they were like, and we're going to take some blood. And I was like, no. Um, I think sometimes you just know when when they take blood and it's like, I know this isn't going to go down very well. Um, most of the time I am fine with taking blood. I had a blood test like a week ago and I was fine. Um yeah you can see where this is going so basically i nearly fainted um she took the blood and it was fine it was only two vials when they took five i really did not feel very well but it was sort of a little bit after it was a bit of a delayed response whereas this time i was like she was just dealing with the like the rubbish into the bin and i was like um just so you know i'm feeling a little bit lightheaded um and so yeah it was it was fine <laughs> And I obviously survived, so um, it was just really, really unpleasant, if I'm honest. Um, my vision started blacking out. Um, I don't know whether these nurses were trainees or not, or very new to the, the uh, nursing thing. Um, I think the first thing we were kind of like, she was really struggling just to put, um, they put those little bands on just before they like look at the vein and stuff. So obviously like put pressure on your arm. And yeah, she was struggling with that. And I was like, okay. Um, and then she said, oh, I'll try and do my best. Cause I told her I'm a little bit nervous about the blood being taken. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean, she did a really good job. Um, I think when then I started to feel a bit faint, um, she really didn't know what she was doing. Um, and so they tried to put my feet up, which is correct. Um, but the problem was because it was only two, I was sat on a wheelie chair and they only had a wheelie chair in there. So they put my feet up on a wheelie chair and it was just like, okay, I now feel really uncomfortable and I feel like I'm going to faint. So I was just like, I feel really uncomfortable. Can I lie on the floor? And they were like really reluctant to let me, which is fine. Um, the nice thing is, uh, because there was no other rooms, there was another lady getting her blood taken in the same room. She turned out to be a nurse and actually she was so, so helpful because she could see I was not doing very well. And she was like, right, you need to put your head between your legs. Um, and so I put my head between my legs and actually then I started to feel a lot better. Whereas like the nurse was trying to put my head back and everything, which I understand, but it was just making me feel really uncomfortable. And it's like, obviously if I'm, if I'm like fainting anyway, I'm going to be uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, it was just, blah. um, so I, we do know that obviously they do have trainee people in there, which I don't have an issue with. I'm just really grateful that lady was there because, um, she was being a nurse, she knew what she was doing. Um, and obviously being pregnant as well, she could probably sympathise a little bit. And she was she was really lovely because she was like, I saw her a bit later and I said, thank you. And she was like, you f you look a lot better. So um, eventually I got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm still feeling unwell, but I think I can walk. So they took me off to the scanning room, which where you're lying down. So once I was lying down, I recovered really quickly, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, basically they get you to lie back, literally kind of like head beh uh, hands behind your head. So it was pretty chilled, actually. Um, so yeah, at that point, uh, basically they do the scan. Um, they ask questions. The scan was quite long for us because our baby was a bit naughty and was like upside down. Um, and she was trying to get them to move and then she realised the umbilical cord was wrapped around their neck, which is completely normal, apparently. Um, so that wasn't a problem. It was just she couldn't, she was like, with the um, uh, ultrasound machine, she was like trying to wiggle my belly and kept on doing things like this. It looked really odd. Um, and it kept on making me giggle because my belly was like wobbling up and down. It just made me giggle. Um, so obviously I wasn't helping, but... Uh, yeah, so we 
because of that, we actually got to see Baby for ages, which is really nice, just wiggling about. And, like, one point they had, like, a picture of Baby doing this. It was really funny. So it kind of looked like it was waving slash saluting. Um, they just looked really cute. And I know I'm going to find it more cute than most people because it's my baby. Um, or our baby, as in my, my husband's. Um, and yeah, it was just really, really cute, um, just to watch it, and, like, I saw it open its mouth up, open and close at one point, like, one point it had its legs, like, its body was like this, and it, its legs were like my hand, and I just found that hilarious, like, I was giggling away, um, which is the sonograph did tell me to, like, keep still at one point, which is fine, um, but yeah, so it was really, really lovely, um, and yeah, it was just, really cute um and I think that's the best part of the scan I found just literally I was probably in there for half an hour at least just happily watching the baby move and yeah it was just really lovely um and so yeah the good news is with the scan everything was perfect obviously they basically got me to walk around and have a break in between so I actually had two scans on the same day uh, with about a break of half an hour in between. Um, once I basically I just had a walk and stuff, and that sorted the problem of the umbilical cord being wrapped around its neck. Um, ow! So it apparently is really normal f for that to happen because obviously it can grab now, which is just crazy. This daddy. Um, and so yeah, uh, they measured it and everything. Um, on this one with the nuchal scan, they measure like liquid um, at the back of its head, um, which is basically a screening for Down syndrome. Um, and I was like, honestly, I don't care if it is got Down syndrome or not. We want this baby. We love this baby already. We really don't care what it's like. We're going to love it anyway. Um, and that is just obviously our opinion, you know. Yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, they were like, okay, it's a little bit higher than average, the liquid. Um, but so the blood they took earlier, they literally got within a couple of hours um, the results back. So you combine that with the liquid and your age. Um, so I'm 26. Um, and obviously when baby's born, I'll be 27. But hey, um, yeah, they basically combine those three and then they'll give you your risk. So we're about one in 800. Um, when you first go in, they're like, oh, yeah, you're one in 100, apparently. So um, the risk is diminished with us. Um, so, again, they will be able to tell more at 20 weeks. And to be honest, sometimes it can happen where we're that one in 800. And that doesn't matter to us. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it's like not, I think the main thing for us was like, okay, it's heart beating well, you know, it's developing well, um, and that kind of thing. So, um, that was really nice. So, uh, the scan picture, which I'll put as the thumbnail, I, th we think it does look like it. It's like sucking its thumb and also doing this at the same time you, because the hand is, the skin is very uh, translucent. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see it. So look out for that. Um, which is just cute thinking I've got a little baby sucking its thumb in my womb. It's just like, wow, weird. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's really it. That's kind of all what happened yesterday. Um, what I did mention, obviously, I'm going to have more scans because of my underactive thyroid. It can affect baby's development. Um, so obviously I take hormones for that. So it's basically just a pill I take in the morning, um, but it is effectively a synthetic hormone that I take, um, which doesn't have any less effect than a normal thyroid would. Um, it's just obviously sometimes it can affect baby, um, not in a negative way, but so if I didn't take them, it would have a really negative impact. Um, so it's really important that I do keep on taking them during the pregnancy um, for baby's sake as well as my own. Um, but yeah, it does mean that basically I'm going to have a scan like every month. So I think they said I've got a 20 week scan, a 28 week scan, a 32 week scan and a 36 week scan. Um, so obviously in about a month, well, just it'd be six or seven weeks actually until my 20 week scan. So that period is obviously a bit longer. But then obviously once it gets to 20 to 28, oh, maybe it's not. Sorry, not going to be a month, maybe every two months, um, which is still a lot, to be fair. Like, my mum never even had a scan with me, and 
that was just how it was at that those days but um yeah so it's kind of always nice when they know like at least we know like our baby's going to be closely monitored so if anything did like appear on it they'd be able to sort it quickly if they can so it's like well okay um and yeah so i'm having i can't remember basically i've got to see the cardiologist um to check the baby's heart um later on um because of um the liquid they just want to check apparently something to do with the heart or i don't know um the heartbeat's fine we heard it it's very regular it's 155 beats per minute um when they measured it um so that was that was fine um so yeah they really conveniently and i love them for doing this so big thumbs up to them um they uh combined the heart testing with my 20 week scan so it means i only have to go once so i have an appointment at 12 and then one again at 12 45 um so it just means that i'm not having to come in on like two separate days obviously i will have to come in another day for my other scan but that'll be further down the the road line (laughs) whatever you want to get out of that um so yeah that that's great but um one thing i will say i probably won't do pregnancy videos every week now um just because obviously symptoms are going to be further apart there's not really going to be a lot to update obviously this one's a longer one because it's a scan and this is kind of the made one of the major scans um so yeah uh that's why it's longer this week <laughs> um yeah so i'll probably be doing them at least once a month though at the very minimum i might just do a vloggy thing anyway because we're moving we're a little bit less messy than last week um have we still have a lot to do and we've only got three days so um i'm out this afternoon as well um i think one of the things i'm struggling with in pregnancy is i cannot do a lot so um i'm one of those people who are quite proactive i like helping i'm not working so i'm like great i can help pack but actually there's not a huge i can amount i can do without then getting really tired and obviously um if i make myself too tired it's not great for me or the baby obviously i'm a bit tired I woke up four o'clock this morning hence the lovely eye bags um but I did have a nap a bit. Um, yeah, it's just... <sighs> so, um, hopefully we'll be fine. Um, we have a week after we move on Saturday with the house that we're in at the moment. So, worst case scenario, we'll just have to move over gently in the evenings. Um, our fridge freezer is being delivered on Sunday uh, when we move in on the Saturday. So, we're going to have to come back here for food anyway. Um yeah i'm not quite sure how that's going to work because obviously once it's plugged in obviously it's going to take a while to then cool down so we're going to have to wait a little bit um that reminds me i didn't order uht milk in the order good job i remembered anyway um (laughs) thank you so much for watching as i know this has been a really long video i hope you enjoyed my pregnancy rambles i will see you soon bye